What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and as y'all can see today we're back out here at the creek so obviously we're going to be targeting red eye bass specifically the warrior bass but i've got my little spinning rod fly reel set up with me again gonna try to see if i can have some better luck on the fly for some warriors this time i caught a couple in that last video got my first red eye on the fly but we're gonna see if we can do a little bit better with it this time got kyle with us today he uh saw some of our creek fishing videos I wanted to give it a try, so we're going to see if we can't give him the red eye fever too. But before we get to rolling on this one, I want to mention the uh, the sunglasses I've got on. You'll probably tell these are a little bit different than what I'm usually wearing. But this company, Wear OYO, they actually uh, had saw a couple of my videos and reached out to me and wanted to know if they sent me a couple pairs, if I would wear them in some videos. Then after wearing them for a little bit, give them an opinion on them. So y'all are going to be seeing me wear these things uh, just in the next few videos. I mean, I just want to be able to give y'all a good, honest opinion of what I think of them. So, I mean, we're going to give them a try, see how they work out. But as always, if you're enjoying the content that I've been putting out, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you'd please consider subscribing to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Y'all stay tuned. Let's we'll see if we can get on them today. Missed him. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I missed him. And I got him. He's just so little, I didn't know I had him. <laughs> oh, he came off. You see that? I want to think it's the right species, too. That looks like a warrior. Spine Actually, uh, it might be a Bama. It's pretty uh, that's, uh, I think you got a Bama. All I've seen so far is that tail, but looking at that tail, it's too pointy. That's a, that's a Bama. I got away from it. There, there it goes. A little Alabama bass. I hadn't seen one of them this far upstream yet. Out. But You're pretty though. Show you all the difference right there. You see how it's got that real dark solid lateral line, how all the spots are connected. And then also the tail on a warrior bass on any of the red eyes, that tail is gonna be more rounded off. It's not gonna be having them sharp points like that. Then no turquoise crescent on the eye. Little old Bama bass. Pretty little fish. You get the skunk knocked off though. There you go. Pretty little fish. just are not cooperating this morning. No cooperation. Oh no, don't do that. Swap to a white. Yeah, you gotta make some kind of change because because they're here. They're, there's no doubt they're here. We just gotta figure out what they're uh, what, they want. what they're keyed in on today. Oh, got him! Uh, I think I lost him though. No, I still got him. What is he? He is a warrior bass. Heck yeah. Beautiful little dude. Made the change to that white popper. Looks like that is the ticket for this little guy. Y'all see the difference in him and that Bama bass that Kyle caught earlier. You see the uh, little turquoise crescent right there on the eye. How the spots are separated. Got the orange and white pigmentation on the fins, on the tail fin, the soft dorsal and anal fin. A little bit of turquoise coloration right there in the face and belly. Beautiful little dude. Then we got Bigfoot up there knocking on a tree at us. Yeah, you didn't hear him up there knocking on the tree? It's Bigfoot. I had too much line in my hand. I couldn't get my strip set on him. So I just I just dropped the rod and just grabbed the main line and started pulling it in. That wasn't pretty. It wasn't the right way to do it. You're feisty little dudes. Your Kyle got something decent. What's he got back there? Bama. Dang it, man. Oh, well. Decent fish, though. Oh, uh, that's a nice warrior. Either he's a warrior or he's a hybrid. Let's see, he's broke up right here. Yeah, I mean, those splotches, that splotching. Yeah, splotching tells me it's a warrior. I don't, the, maybe a little iridescent. He's got some white. A little white right there on the, on the he's anal fin and, and the man. tail fin. Got a little bit of orange. That's going a good too. size. He's about half a pound. He's, he's a real light colored warrior, but I'm pretty sure that's a warrior. That's a pretty cool fish right there. Heck yeah. That's a decent one. That is. It is nice. I like that one. That's pretty good. He picked that up when I was pulling that back last 
Yeah, that was a that was a quality fish for sure. I wasn't expecting it. I just started reeling in, thought I was on a stick. <laughs> yeah, when I heard him jump, I'm like, dang, you ain't got something good. Like, Let me turn the camera on. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, ooh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I feel like if you, if you, at this point, if you ain't never been creek fishing, you miss it. Yeah, I'm in some uncharted territory now, y'all. I hadn't been this far up this creek. So everything from here on, I don't know. It's unexplored by me. I'm talking to the GoPro. Uh -huh. <laughs> I ain't going crazy yet. I don't think. I may have. Oh, got one. That one feels a lot better. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I had to figure out how to uh, how to pull him in. It's a Bama. Another Bama. I don't like seeing these guys this far up the creek, but it is what it is. Still pretty little dude. Pretty little Bama. But they are native here, so we ain't gonna we ain't gonna dispose of him. He's just going back. Yeah, I still kind of freeze up on the bite though. I still just ain't used to uh to doing that strip pulling in that way. Kind of freeze up. It's like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> Not used to doing that by any means. Got him at time, didn't you? Decent fish. Another warrior, isn't it? Another warrior. You're getting some bigger ones. Oh, that's that one. I almost feel like that's a hybrid though. Look at those, those dots are a little bit, they seem a little bit closer to me. Yeah, they do. I could be wrong, but I feel like he's, he's hybrid, but he's got warrior in him for sure though. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, obviously it had to be genetically tested to know if it was pure or not, but it's it's definitely got a lot of warrior in it. Could be pure. Nice one either way though. Getting him loose. You keep pulling out them decent ones. I'm going to put my little spinning reel on here and uh, go to a subsurface approach. It might, it might <laughs> be a bad idea. I was waiting on that. <laughs> when he took that head up, it's like, hey, he's fixing to jump. It's fixing to give us a pretty release. Heck yeah. That is awesome. That's a warrior. I ain't gotta look at him closely. Another warrior bass. Heck yeah. Oh, I had a bite while I wasn't looking. I was over looking at your fish and I hear something go doop, turn around, and don't let go of it. Man. Uh huh. Here's another one. That one like it had some size to it. Yeah, fly fishing is not the go-to move today, y'all. That's a pretty one. But hey, I ain't gonna complain. I've caught a couple fish. We got old Kyle out here. Got him on his first warriors. What fun. you think about it, man? It's fun. That one. That one's beautiful. That one has yeah, some really good markings. Beautiful. Heck yeah, that one has very distinct markings. Got a lot of real good orange at the top of that uh, soft dorsal fin. And on that tail, real distinct spots. He's pretty. Oh, he got a little, he got some wings in that throat too. Oh, he got a, got a little bug down there. Yeah. Let's see. Check him out. Right there on the right side. So he done had a meal and trying to get him another one. Yep. Trying to get a little, trying to get a little snack. I think he's he's still trying to swallow that joker. <laughs> All right, now for the whole reason I've been using this fly reel on spinning rod. In this situation today, the fly bite has just not been on. I mean, Kyle is waxing them with subsurface lures, and I'm uh, my bites are few and far between on fly. So we're taking that old fly reel off. We're putting the old spinning reel on here. We're going to get us an Ed rig tied on here, see if our luck changes. I probably ain't got to tell you all this, but uh, I mean, anybody that regularly watches the channel, you already know why I said an Ed rig, why I was fixing to put on here. The old Berkeley little General Max scent. My go-to creek bait. The pattern for him seems to be uh, moving baits. That's what Kyle's approach has been and what he's catching them on, but I'm, I'm too hard-headed. It showed me the pattern, and I'm going to continue on choosing to use something that doesn't have a whole lot of movement anyway. All right, Matt. We, got, we all make our own decisions. Yep. Some kind of cool little minnows. I don't know if y'all can see them. Oh, we got one already. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Came off right there. Some kind of little bass. Dang, I, I didn't get a hook set on him at all, actually. I started reeling. I felt him grab it and run. And... I 
another one we'll have, I think, in here. Dude, oh, you got something decent, though. <laughs> Stop that sentence you were about to say. I'm telling you, I thought we were going to have just some little bitty ones. It's but... Alabama. Uh, I guess some beautiful stuff right here, Andy. Just getting into these little pools where you got little rapids coming through. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. That's about 90% of the thrill of this type of fishing for me. It's just the scenery. Like I said before, catching a fish is... It's always just the icing on the cake, just an added bonus. Oh, you got one. Heck yeah. Right off the bat. It don't take long, does it? Bama. Another old Bama. Okay. Not today. Oh, look at him. <laughs> There's one trying to eat mine. Look at him. He's got his mouth on him. He's got the hook. Though. He got it. <laughs> hey, I seen this little dude chasing it, so I stopped for a second and let him get it. And he got it. That's a beautiful warrior. Mm -hmm. He's just tiny, though. He's tiny, but he is colored up, buddy. There you go. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. See, he's got a ton of red and orange in his fans. Pretty little dude. I mean, that Bama could, he could eat him, no doubt, but. Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was constantly just munching at it. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to let it sit there. Let it sit there and just let him eat it. So it's a bad time to turn my GoPro off. Right after I did, I hung into a good one. This one grabbed it and took off. <laughs> it pulled a little bit of drag on me. <laughs> that is a nice warrior. There's another one with him, man. Another one with him. Uh -huh. If you can, if you can throw right to the middle, there is another one about the same size with him. That's a nice warrior bass. I have never caught a warrior that big, which I hadn't caught this one yet. So, I'm push for a second. All right, that's a bama. That gun. Of course it's a Bama, it's a hybrid. That's why <laughs> it's bigger than any warrior I've ever caught before, it's a freaking hybrid. You will see the turquoise, oh man, he lost him. You'll see the turquoise in his eye though, he's got that turquoise crescent in his eye. But you see how the spots right there, they start off separated, but right there towards the end, they start connecting together. I mean, that's indicative of it's, it's Bama bass genetics. He's got the white margins on the anal fin, but some on the tail fin. Got a little bit of blotching. It's a nice fish, but unfortunately, it's a hybrid. Yeah, pretty dude. Let's get him back anyways. Heck yeah. Uh, there was one about the same size as him that was with him. Right in that same area. Was that one about the same size as him? Yeah, it may have been then. Knew what it was. Oh, <laughs> started reeling it in and one came and grabbed it. He's got a chat follower too. Look, oh man, he got off. You see how he just followed him up here? All right, we've definitely found a better section of creek. Had to get some super glue on the, uh, the old crawl because they're tearing him up. We'll add some super glue to him and we'll extend the life of him instead of taking him off and swapping out. The expensive as these things are, you gotta extend the life of them as much as you can. It's like eight bucks plus tax for a daggum pack of these things. They're good though, they're worth it. Freaking everything loves them. I mean, all these little creek fish, big old smallies at Pickwick. I mean, the majority of my big smallies have come on this bait. Just a fish catcher. Oh, got one. I'll tighten that drag. I loosened it up so much when I was playing with it all ago. <laughs> I'm not sure if my GoPro is rolling, but that's a warrior. Warrior? Beautiful warrior. He got off. Oh, well. It's pretty, though. Y'all probably got to get a look at him. It's a real pretty colored up warrior. He grabbed it when I was reeling it in. I didn't know. Uh, I'm bad about not setting the hook when that happens. Yeah. I just keep on reeling. It cost me that one. Some of them you can get away with like that. Dropped it. Nice got it again. Yeah, it does. Ooh. Make sure he ain't gonna come off. He's little though. We set the hook on him. <laughs> Warrior. That is a beautiful colored up warrior, y'all. Nice spot separation, blotches, turquoise crescent on the eye. I say that every time, but I don't know why I give y'all a description of it every time. Alright, buddy. I'll see ya. 
Yeah, I was uh, it's feeling a little bit down and out about halfway through this trip. And not really. I mean, I'm still enjoying myself, but just fish wasn't cooperating the way that I was expecting. But I tell you what, this last uh, little bit, this little stretch that we've gotten in, it is lit on fire. Man, we've hit a big, um, real productive hot spot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I just stopped being stubborn and uh, got away from the fly fishing finally. That's <laughs> what it was. The flies weren't productive and I am hung and I'm unhung. Good. But I don't know. I was just trying to see that fly fishing through. It's something that I'm trying to get down. Just trying to get a little more practice at it. You won't ever get better at it unless you do it. Exactly. Good thing I made the swap when I did because now, uh, now I'm finally joining the party myself. You don't have a driver's license. Yeah, I I knew there should be one there. He just didn't want to bite on that first cast. Warrior. Oh man, he sucked it. Oh, good. I'm glad he came off like he did because it looked like he had it deep in his throat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that one plopped off actually because it uh, makes him feel better. Once we make it to them rocks up there, I'm, I'm going to put on a fresh uh, crawfish. I think this one's about had it. He's done lost all his coloration. He's starting to turn white <laughs> and sucked all the flavor out of him. I got one. Yeah. <laughs> Warrior. I made sure midway through that cast to set the hook on him because I didn't set the hook initially. So I was like, all right, let's give it a little extra pop there just to make sure he don't come off. That's another real pretty colored up one. Lots of blotching, lots of little spots, lots of orange coloration. Pretty dude. All right, dude. Oh, we are miles and miles up this creek. We're way up. Couldn't tell you how far up we are, but we are way, way up here. That's for sure. Yeah, before I caught that last bass, I didn't tell you, that little trooper that I had, he was starting to lose his coloration. I've caught so many fish on him, they didn't suck all the flavor off of him. So I uh, put this little, uh, I forget what the exact name of it is, but it's a Z-Man Micro Finesse. It's a little dragonfly larva type deal. I think that's exactly what it's called. It's larvas. Caught that one warrior on it pretty quick. Maybe we can get us another one on it. I see a couple uh, couple little bass swimming around right here in this pool. See if they're interested. So far, they're not. I tell you what, for as slow as the day started off, it sure did make quite the turnaround. Been an awesome day out here. And we got another fish to add to it. Another little small guy. We got a uh, got a little long ear sunfish joining the party. I've been wondering where these guys have been at. Honestly, I've been expecting more of them throughout the day today. Yep. A little, a little long ear. Long ear sunfish. Pretty colored up little dude. All right, buddy. Now, trick here is getting down through here without busting my butt because these are some slick rocks. I guess just go around. Yeah, let's do that. So all those look pretty slick. So we have the option to go around, so we are going around. Got something. That feels a little bit more decent than any of the sunfish. Got one following him too. Got another little bass following him. Crazy how these little dudes follow. I mean, almost every single one of them just about has a daggum follower with it. They're chasing them down. What it is, food is so scarce for them, I guess. If they chase them down, say, hey, give me that. You can't have it. Oh, yeah, he wanted him some Z Man larva action. Got him right in the tongue, jacked his tongue up. He ain't gonna be able to taste right for a while. But he's got lots of that white and orange coloration, lots of blotching. Real pretty fish. Fun little dude to catch. Gave us a good fight. He was ready to go back home. Well, there it goes. There went. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Bound to happen. See if I can... You need help? You got it? No, I can get it. I just got. I got to figure out where my feet are. Oh, went swimming. One of us is gonna do it eventually. It was right. coming. I'll probably take my turn eventually. You good and cooled off now, though. This right looks like this should be a decent hole. <laughs> he's little. <laughs> I jacked his jaws, but he's tiny. Long ear sunfish. There you go. His long ears are so pretty. Huh. Bumble. Got him. He got me underneath the bush, but we got him out of there. Okay. Another pretty warrior.
He's making a beeline to that little bush. Trying to get back to cover. Another pretty little dude. Here's one right here. Come up for you. Oh, dang. <laughs> I didn't even know that one was on there. I was sitting there dangling my line as I was starting to walk forward and I felt something tug on it all of a sudden. Uh -oh. That may have been the one I Quick saw release. five minutes ago. <laughs> he dropped in just to say hey and bye. But yeah, I didn't even know that dude was there. It was just dangling as I was walking. All of a sudden, I feel something go, thank you. It's so peaceful, ain't it? It's miles away from anything. Miles away from anything. It's got birds chirping, fish biting. Last weekend, the cicadas were hollering like I'll get out. I don't really hear them too bad right now. Is that a daggone canoe right there, ain't it? Somebody got a canoe stowed away out here. Y'all probably can't see it. Y'all might be able to. Somebody else fishes, or I don't know if they fish the spot, but they, they at least canoe the spot. I got to imagine they fish it. Thank you. Got oh, a ball, got, yeah, got a buddy. Ah, he might go. Oh, dang. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> yes, sir. I got you too, but I, I got the follower from your fish. We'll take care of the follower first. <laughs> See, I was here. calling myself going to pitch up in there. But I pitched a little too close to you and I caught you in the process. Yeah, you Heck yeah, y'all. That was an awesome eat right there. Just tossed in right on top of him and just as Kyle lost his, I caught the one that was following him. Another pretty warrior. All right, buddy. All right, y'all reckon we're fishing to start heading back down the creeks. We are miles and miles up here, just miles and miles away from civilization. It's been a, been a pretty productive day, as y'all seen. We're gonna start easing on back, see if we can catch us a few more on the way back. We'll see what happens. Got some thunder rumbling off in the distance, y'all, and got a little bit of breeze starting to come through the trees. Might be getting a little bit wet on top pass here in a little bit. Don't get me wrong, breeze feels good, but. I'll take some wind. Thunder don't sound good. Uh huh, I hear you. I hear you. No beating it, it's here. Alright, we made it through the storms over here on the other side of us now, so now maybe we can get in a few more casts for you, make it back to the car. Maybe catch a couple more fish, I hope. I don't know though. We'll see. All right, y'all, we're about to the end of our journey. I'm gonna make a couple more casts right here through this little deep hole. See if we can get one for the road. I don't know though. I ain't feeling too optimistic about it, but there's a good chance we could. Oh yeah. <laughs> need to do away with that pessimism and be optimistic. Cause we do, I, I got one for the road. It's not a bass, but it's a beautiful little fish. Little pumpkin seed? Yeah, that's a little pumpkin seed this time. Or no, that's longer. Is it? Yep. Like pumpkin seed the way it's marked. Oh, he's got a leech on him. Or no, he don't. That's my freaking worm, idiot. <laughs> Y'all, I'm over here tripping, thinking that's a daggum leech. That's my daggum worm sticking out his gill. <laughs> Fish juggle. <laughs> All right. So after wading miles of this creek and then trying to get back before the storms killed us, we made it back to the start and got us one last little fish. And you know, obviously, we can't end it on that note. Catch one, you got to make another cast or two. You always got to last. Got to. That'd be good for about 10 or 12 more last casts right there. <laughs> that right there, that'll do it too. That'll make it where it's even more last casts. That right there, that's why you always got to make the last cast. Got a little Bama, I believe. Heck yeah. Now we just need to catch a little warrior for the road and we will have caught all three of the species that we've already caught previously in the day. I ain't really too worried about whether that happens or not. This one right here would be a good note to end it on. Appreciate you, buddy. All right, y'all, it's gonna be a wrap for this one. Me and old Kyle, we done had us a pretty good walk. We, uh, that's on how far we walked, on how far we ended up walking, but it's a pretty good hike, but it was well worth it with just the amount of fish we caught, awesome, beautiful scenery we were able to see. You'd do it again, wouldn't you? 
in a heartbeat. You got the red eye fever though? You, you want to start chasing some of the other red eyes now? Yeah, it's Get you a red eye slam. It's time to go look at some other ones. But I do hope y'all enjoyed that one. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all next time.